the Meru County Governor Kawira Mwangaza was heckled very badly in front of President William Samuel Ruto during a certain rally in Meru County. And I want to show you that video clip. But currently, Mwangaza is in total darkness. She must be regretting because there is actually no place for her to hide, politically speaking. And come 2027 general elections, I want you to mark my words. There are several governors across the country, and I can mention for you some of them right here, who I am 100% sure that they will be voted out in the 2027 general elections. If Kawira Mwangaza is not careful, she will actually be a one-term governor. It will be an embarrassing moment for her. Yesterday, President William Ruto was in Meru County and he was received massively by the residents of Meru County. And of course, President William Ruto was accompanied by several UDA party leaders. Remember that Meru County is UDA party zone, almost 100%. And that is why Kawira Mwangaza, despite the fact that she was elected as independent, she must support President William Ruto, UDA party and UDA party leaders, just to avoid the pressure and the wave. And that is why also Kiraitu Muriungi in the previous 2022 general elections, he lost it because of supporting Raila Odinga, and Azimio Laumoja One Kenya Alliance. But what happened in Meru County was totally something that made President William Ruto to be extremely disappointed. Kawira Mwangaza being heckled very badly and totally unwanted by Meru County residents. You know, Kawira Mwangaza would have been impinged long time ago were it not for President William Ruto to rescue her twice. And I can still remember very well, President William Ruto personally ordered the Gadiga Shagwa, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, to go and intervene over that particular situation and solve that matter. The Gadiga Shagwa had to meet the Meru County MCAs together with Kawira Mwangaza and they solved that issue. So I want you to watch this short video clip, but the biggest question here is, why do you think Kawira Mwangaza was heckled in front of President William Samuel Ruto? Because we did not expect that to happen. Ebu, <laughs> Kote na habari zenu Kaende kaende Kabati kabati Kaende kaende Kabati kabati Rais na kushukuru sana Ni asanti kwa sababu umeleta maendeleo Na tunaomba kama viongozi Kwa sababu umeleta maendeleo Awa vijana wapewe kazi Waasha kutumiwa na viongozi wawili Kuna kiongozi na viongozi pale ambao wanawatumia. Kwa hivyo anaomba Dani Kere na Mheshimiwa Rentore patia vijana kazi mizuri waache kupiga makelele kwa uwanja. Tunaomba jambo lingine Mheshimiwa Rais. Kuna police post. Ebu ebu tusikizane. Ebu vijana vijana Vijana, ngoja, 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 mimi nataka tuelewane hivi, ngoja, aya, tumesikia hile mmesema, asante sana, aya, ebu tuelewane, mimi nataka tuelewane, watu wa kiutine, njini muna nisikia, Siasa hii ya makelele mimi sitaki Tunaelewana Hii siasa makelele ni siasa mbaya Njini vijana nataka niwambie 
Mimi nataka niwapangie kazi ya ajira. Mambo ya kuja kupiga makelele kwa mkutano mimi sitaki. Musikie vizuri. You know being elected as an independent candidate in the gubernatorial in the gubernatorial seat is not something easy. You must be having the ground on your side. So what really happened? Just a quick reminder, in case you are listening to me up to this point and you haven't subscribed, I'm requesting you to please just take a second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a like. If you do that, YouTube will automatically recommend this channel and this video in particular to reach out to others. You can also get notifications automatically from YouTube itself. Immediately I post a video on this channel by simply activating all the notifications by pressing the notification bell down below. Having said that, now let me give you the reasons as to why Kawira Mwangaza was heckled in front of President William Ruto during that particular rally. Kawira Mwangaza was being heckled in that particular event simply because of the Meru blogger by the name Sniper who was recently brutally murdered. So Kawira Mwangaza was mentioned in that case and currently as we speak there are several close relatives of Kawira Mwangaza who are arrested on that matter. The death of Sniper actually destroyed, ruined Kawira Mwangaza's political name completely in Meru County. So let us wait and see how she will overcome this matter and try to build her politics once again. And finally, remember that politics is a very, very dirty game. So there could be a politician, someone behind all this, who decided to pay the youths. It could be the MCS. It could be medical injury. It could be someone else. It could be the hatred that Kawira Mwangaza is currently facing in Meru County. And that is why she is being heckled. So it could be on matters to do with the political reasons behind all this. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you think. I also want to know your thoughts, your views, and your opinions concerning this matter. What do you think about Kawira Mwangaza being heckled in President William Ruto's rally? Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let me see you again in my next analysis. My name is Jason. Bye-bye.